Wednesday hey guys, Tomcat here today. We are in Germany. I'm coming to you from Germany um, in a rented Golf Diesel. And uh, we're on the A61 right now. We're on our way to the Nürburgring. And uh, should be a, should be a pretty fun day. It's been really interesting, like the first time, my, my first time driving in Germany has been, I, th I think it's, been, it's it's just really different. It's very unlike driving in the US. There's There's things that are similar, there's things that are very, very different. Pe people drive a lot faster here, uh, for one. The average speeds are way higher. They're like, the average speeds are way, way higher on the highways here than they are in the U.S., that is for sure. And the thing is, too, everybody has or seems to have better road manners. Like, everybody kind of knows where they gotta be and uh, just kind of knows what they're doing. And, uh, I mean, it's some of the cars you see over here are so cool because I'm so used to seeing stuff that you know I'm you're used to seeing in the US and r earlier on on the way here I saw a white uh, uh, white focus um, RS and uh, dude I, the first time I saw a focus RS I was like oh my god yes I love you because dude the focus RS is such an awesome car I mean you can't even I, I can't even put it towards how 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 much I've always wanted to see a Ford Focus RS. I mean, if if you could get the Focus RS in the U.S., it would have been a major uh, competitor when I was trying to make the decision between, uh, or when I was trying to, you know, when I was having different considerations of what car to buy when I was looking at the FRS. And, you know, like I said, if the Focus RS was available at the time, then it would have been a major player in that, um, in that uh, I guess, you know, car shopping venture. And I think the thing about it is that I probably still would have gone with the FRS just because it's rear-wheel drive, it's a little bit more fun, and uh, I, it's just, you know, it's a lot more, a little bit more of a tossable kind of car than the Focus RS is, but the Focus RS is still probably one of the most fun front-wheel drive cars out there, for at least from what I've heard. So, I, it's, it's really cool, really cool to be driving out here. I mean, it's definitely ch checking off the bucket list items for sure. I mean, to be, to come to Europe, to come to Germany, um, and then now today heading to the Nürburgring, that's another bucket list item. So lots of cool stuff happening, lots of cool stuff going on. And the scenery is so different too. You're driving through, it's almost like you're driving through Euro Truck Simulator because basically you are. Euro spec Toyota GT86s 
and that made me really, really, really miss my FRS, which is back at home, and I really, really, really want to bring it out here someday. Um, I'm not sure when we'd be able to make that happen, but I mean, I haven't even looked into it, but I would absolutely love to look into it and uh, just see just see what all that would entail because, I mean, being able to take your own car on the Nürburgring would be, especially if it's a, you know, whatever it is, if it's something, you know, if it's something fast, if it's something you put your own work into, it'd just be such an incredible experience. And, and riding passenger around the Nürburgring has only made me want to drive around the Nürburgring even more. It really, really has. So I, I can't say enough about the experience as a whole. I mean, you walk around the, the car park right at the Nürburgring and you see so many cool things. You see you see a you see a Lamborghini Huracan, you see um you see uh the you see for example the Porsche K, uh Porsche Cayman GT4 um and the new 911 GT3 RS uh, uh from its white noise. Um you see so much cool stuff and it's just just incredible to also for me as an American to see so many cars that are Euro spec only and you know you get over here and you're like wow you're seeing Renaults and Citroens and and Ford Focus RSs and stuff that you just don't see um, or stuff that's in kind of like it's Euro spec so to speak. So again, it's such an awesome experience and I'm so glad I came out here. Um, I'm I'm really looking forward to Gamescom, which is what's uh, coming up next as far as on this trip. Uh, we have a couple. We have like I think maybe one or two more days um, in in uh, in Frankfurt. So not too much longer there. But, um, but that's where we're, we're on our way back to right now, on our way back to drop the rental car off, which is a, uh, and I've just act activated the rear, the rear wipers. But uh, it's a 1.6 liter Golf diesel. Um, so it's not exactly, oh God, I've turned the wipers on. Um, so it's not exactly the, it's not exactly the fastest. It's not exactly the, you know, it, would you like to stop route guidance? No, I would not. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed this vlog and enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. 